the heartland of America. Some call it flyover country, not by the folks who live there, it's home. Often guided by religious beliefs, this region is further divided into the Bible Belt. Reason holds the belt must have a buckle at its center. For the purposes of this program, let's say it's Oklahoma. From the cities to the ranches, from the mesas to the tall grass prairie, acres of forest and miles of lake and river shoreline. A place where decent folks live in relative contentment. Under a thin crust of hospitality is often a vile prejudice and hatred manufactured by religion and distributed by government. Our series The Buckle has its roots in a newspaper article about a gay teen and his mother as they took on the challenges of living in Oklahoma. They agreed to participate in the film but were fearful their lives would be in danger after a national TV broadcast featured them. We never heard from them again. Discouraged, but there must be other stories out there, right? Oh yeah, too many stories. The Buckle has been 10 years in the making. It started out with our struggle to gain the trust of the gay community and continue through the landmark Supreme Court case ensuring the fundamental right to marry. Over the course of production, technology had changed, starting with standard definition cameras and evolving to the 4K cameras being used now. Combined with the filmmaker's personal challenges, like paying the bills, production had starts and stops, all the while gathering more and more stories. How were we going to put everything into the conventions of a traditional film or the time constraints of television? The internet to the rescue, a web series. Each webisode, there are 30 scheduled at the time of this recording, generally covers a topic and is followed by a more in-depth conversation with an individual. We call these Buckle Raw Cuts. This isn't short attention span pet videos on social media. What? Jimmy's in the well? Running time at this point is averaging 14 and a half minutes per episode. That's on a pace of over seven hours of Oklahoma stories. It's about substance. It's about people. Gay, straight, preachers, educators, nurses, doctors, activists, veterans, parents, and more. There are a few people you may recognize, including singer-songwriter-actor Sam Harris. He was afraid that if I didn't change by the time I was 13, and I remember that was the magical number, 13, then all these things were going to happen. And I remember knowing on my 13th birthday, I didn't change. The grandson of Oklahoma religion legend Oral Roberts, as an adult, I just really wanted to put that part of my past behind me. Betsy Smittle, musician and sister of country music superstar Garth Brooks. But the Bible Belt still has that feeling of sometimes if you leave a bar, you might be beat with a Bible on the way out. We got inside the Westboro Baptist Church, you know, the protesters. And the smoke of your torment ascendeth up forever and ever. God hates America. We followed the development of Oklahomans for Equality's Dennis R. Neal Equality Center. We have built a powerful symbol for all Americans who thirst for a just, inclusive country. Gay hate crimes. It may have to take me being killed out there on that front lawn of that house to put a face. I'm a talking person for these people that have been killed in the past. Some events even made national headlines. The homosexual agenda is destroying this nation. Okay, it's just a fact. I'm not anti, I'm not gay bashing, but according to God's word, that is not the right kind of lifestyle. It has deadly consequences. Do you stand with Sally Kern? But all is not serious like this protesting lobster. And of course, God and Satan sock puppets have a talk show. And the number one myth of homosexuality. Man didn't invent homosexuality, penguins did. What would Oklahoma be without music? Some with levity? Every time we think about same-sex marriage, it makes us sick to our guts. I mean, to people who want to commit to a stable, monogamous, lifelong relationship, what are they, nuts? <laughs> Some with sincerity. 
Watch tornadoes pass us by Can't you love me If I love her Dear Oklahoma Then there is Tom. That's not his real name. He wanted to learn more after his brother-in-law came out. Fearful that his quest for mere understanding would draw hatred from his family and peers, he wouldn't go on camera, but we convinced him we could hide his identity. I heard some filmmakers were making a movie about gays in Oklahoma. I contacted them and now, after a long journey, here I am. I didn't know when we started, but it would change my life. Without further ado, let's get started on our journey to understanding throughout Oklahoma. A preacher man said when I was a child, you can't ride the fence, you gotta pick a side. Said that too. <laughs> well, a preacher man said when I was a child, don't ride the fence, you gotta pick a side. Ride the fence, you gotta pick a side. Something about that never did seem right. path makes a righteous life but my burden's too heavy and my yoke's too tight burden's too heavy and my yoke's too tight bottle's half empty and I still ain't right <laughs> that's what I've been talking about man. you understand that Not by judging people by their character. Not by judging people individually of what they do and what they don't do. But judging entire groups. And that can be the worst hatred of all. 